Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval. This is the video blog Solo Negocios with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for July the 20th, 2018. Today, the Mexican peso got depreciated given issues on the money market. Donald Trump yesterday uh, stated some arguments against the Federal Reserve policy on rising ta uh, the, the rates, but today it was increased and even accused China and European Union of manipulation of currencies and having low rates, while the US is rising the rates and the US dollar is strengthening. So he basically is saying that this is provoking a decrease in the competitiveness of the international trade position of the United States against those countries. Uh, in these terms, he is keeping his pace on pressure against the Fed, even when yesterday he said that he will allow them to uh, keep working because he believes that they know what they're doing. But uh, allowances, I mean, that's legal. That's something that is by law, not uh, a, a something granted for the executive power to allow something. Obviously, he has a, a rule on, the, on who is belonging to the Fed, but the truth is that it's a kind of not correct way to address the position of the Federal Reserve and also his own, uh, let's say, freedom of speech around monetary policies. Uh, James Buller from the San Luis Fed stated that he believes that Donald Trump can say whatever he wants and it will not affect how the Fed uh, behaves and makes their decisions. The Federal Open Market Committee uh, it's uh, making decisions along the objectives settled by the Congress, which are inflation at 2%, low inflation, and maximum employment. So if he's correct, nothing should happen around these uh, elements, but at least in the speculative world, this was not taken good by markets. And this brought down the Bloomberg door spot up to a low 0.77% during the day. Uh, this helped the Mexican peso. But later on, the U.S. bonds for 10 years increased uh, its worth 0 0.05 points. And this affected directly the peso because of the spread, differentia the differential between the Mexican bond and the U.S. bond got decreased. So this, uh, this is the reason why the Mexican peso was depreciated today. In particular, in terms of NAFTA, during the week, remember that Na Mr. Trump stated that he will look forward for an agreement first with Mexico and then with Canada, implying that there will, they will be looking for a bilateral agreement. So if this is true, it is not the best news, but at least things could stay more or less the way they are right now with NAFTA. Uh, trade war, well, given the, his mentions about the Fed and the money markets, he increased his position against uh, China by stating that he's prepared to impose $500 billion of tariffs against China, increasing tensions on this trade war. And this is obviously something that was um, not good for the markets and that obviously will have retaliation by China, at least in, in statements. We'll see what happens. Bank of Mexico exchange hedges were evenly without great changes, 2.52 times the demand of the $250 million offered for 33 days, basically without, without great volatility. The support 1850 uh, in a range to 1860, resistance 1930 in the wholesale market, the spread between banks, purchase and, and sell, 1.07, one cent less than, than yesterday, and futures without change uh, compared to yesterday. Linear trend, anyways, keeps showing um, a depreciation for the Mexican peso in the following 30 days. Although this graph has shown the same thing in the last 15 days. So potentially we won't have that much of a problem in general terms. This is generally the information that we have for this week. We will see you tomorrow. We will see you on Monday. And I hope that you have a great week. Thank you very much for your attention.